Happy Monday, everybody, from my very lovely new car. I hope you're well. I'm back, 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 back. Um, hmm, theme for today. It's all about self-abandoning oneself, or self-abandonment. Um, it's been a rocky few weeks. I mean, I know everyone's been feeling it, but it feels like we're kind of being pulled apart and put together all the time. I don't know if you feel like that, like, you know, stretch to your max, and then you come straight back to yourself, find out where you're safe, go back out again. And what's really struck me is how easy it is for us to abandon ourselves when we're, we're not focused on ourselves. And by that, I mean, when we start to engage with other people in relationships, um, as you know, this has been a big theme for me recently. It's something I'm really allowing myself to focus on because my public profile's fine. Personal profile, not fine. <laughs> and actually being able to engage as an empath, I've been posting a lot about empaths on uh, our um, Facebook pages, but as an empath, so someone who feels other people's emotions intensely, that makes me brilliant at my job. Uh, very difficult in my personal life because I get very confused between what is me and what is the other person and what I'm imagining and what is real, which is why grounding is so important and why I love being a yoga teacher because obviously it helps me to come back into my body. And also, you know, when you're dealing with the ethereal and the physical, it's finding the balance between the ethereal and the physical and coming right back to the present moment. So... Um, Having flown away, come back, I find it takes me about a week to ground after I've been flying and I've been away and teaching away. And there were so many blessings. I mean, I had such lovely groups out there when I taught out in Greece. It was amazing. But really needed to come back to myself. And um, this week's been a quiet one for sort of coming back in. And, and something did occur in my life which really took me out of myself and, and then flung me straight back because I went to a place I've been before and I uh, didn't honour myself. I abandoned myself because I didn't allow myself to stay in my heart. I, I kind of got distracted from that and allowed my needs to get in the way of what I know is for my highest good. And I know we all do that. So, you know, I've been posting about self-sabotage and how um, it's very, very easy to to trip ourselves up because we know we want something, but our subconscious is programmed to want something else and to know something else and to be very deeply attached to that something else to the point that if your conscious mind is saying, well, actually, I want I want this, I want to experience joy. Your subconscious program is saying, no, 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 no. We deal with disappointment. Disappointment is what we know. We like disappointment. At least we know we're going to be disappointed, right? So there's this little thing when you're expanding into yourself, into your bigness and expanding into your growth that happens that basically gets you to a point that you're like, oh, actually, huh, I can't expand here because there's a conflict between my subconscious and my conscious. And it's being aware of that, loving that, working through that. There are lots of different ways of doing it. Obviously, the yoga that I teach and the programs that I put together are designed for that. There's also self-hypnosis and different things that you can get involved with. And my um, my mentor, Susanna um, Kennedy, is amazing in the work that she does. So if you want to check that out, look up realitycrafting.com. I'm going to leave this here right now, but what I'm going to say is that um, being able to stay with yourself, to remind yourself that giving power away to others to make you happy is never going to make you happy. <laughs> so being able to stay centered in yourself and what really makes you happy and keeping true to yourself rather than abandoning yourself to what you think someone else wants you to be is very, very important. And loving the different aspects of you that all it coexists within you. You know, there's the inner female, the inner male, the inner child, the inner teenager. There's all these different aspects of us that come into play. Just observe what's going on inside you and ask the question, what is here? Instead of running away from it, embrace it. What is here? Be with that. Self-discovery, self-wonder. See what happens. Have a good week. And remember, you're incredible. You're amazing. You're awesome. Have a lovely time. Take care now. Bye-bye.